Hey, 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 guys, welcome to episode um, 19 of Star Wars Old Republic. I'm playing as Lasse Lego Hood, my bounty hunter. Um, if you zoom in all the way, all the way, you'll be playing in first person. Um, gotta steal a ship. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Then I'll probably change my outfit, hopefully. Right, you disgusting pile of puke! Drop your weapon and kiss the floor! This is one starship that's not getting stolen on my watch. You hear me, scum? I'm not here to steal anything, honest. Better that thought had gone through your filthy, sub-intelligent brain before you stepped through that door. I've had three ships stolen this year by the Mandalorians and their unwashed cohorts. Of course, not all Mandalorians are bad. Taro Blood was nice enough to tell me about this little tradition of yours. Look, you spaceport guys must have initiation rituals too. Karakimi, Anikag Nikag, Kanyak Gag Akiguamjam. You heard the man at him! <laughs> Had to put my mind to it. Oh god, he fell. There are um, a lot of dudes here, and I'm going to kill all of them. It's my prime objective right now. Ah, with their heads. Damn it. 
I wonder if we could, I could restart this mission. Now let me go restart this mission. It says, affect enemies with destructible objects. So this means that I could kill um, multiple dudes with the, with the same object. Since, since that little conversation was really, like, fast and easy, I'm gonna... I'm gonna restart that shit, my nigga. This means, you know what this means? This means I just have to lead everybody over here the next time. But I wonder, if I press reset, will, will this get reset? Oh. 
I got I died again. But all is good. I don't have to kill these guys. I just want to, you know. I want I want their deaths to be on my hands. I got everybody, it seems. Rules or no rules, Tarot Blood dies the next time we see him. Right? That scum is living on borrowed time. Oh, I hate this. I don't want to feel this way about anyone, but I just... I want to make him pay. Don't worry, Mako. It's gonna be alright. Don't get all mushy on me. I was just saying is all. We'd better get moving. We've got a great hunt to win, right? I got another companion. Droid for this vessel. You must be my new master. Gentle, kind new master. Your last master isn't coming back. Got a problem with that? Absolutely not. He called me unpleasant names and never bathed. Not that there is anything wrong with that, master. I am programmed for a wide array of tasks, including but not limited to meal preparation, ship maintenance, janitorial duty, and etiquette. Welcome aboard this Kuwait Drive Yard's D5 Mantis patrol craft. Its speed and firepower are unmatched by other vessels of its force. You'll find all of the standard amenities, including your own private captain's locker for storing valuables. The astrogation console contains a constantly updated map of the known galaxy. Interstellar communications are accessed via the ship's holo terminal. Priority alerts that you may find useful are available from the Imperial Holonet console. Lastly, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to issue new orders. Any questions, Master? Are you at least capable of providing security while I'm not aboard? I regret I am unable to offer you combat support, Master. Frankly, my chassis couldn't withstand the stress. However, should any errands arise that are beneath your superior status, please do not hesitate to call upon me. I function to serve you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on your bridge. It will program the proper astrogation coordinates and activate the engines. A 
And just like that, I am... I got my ship. I finally got my ship! These quests are going to, uh... I mean, I, I believe they're gonna stay here for the time being, but they're gonna get reset in a few hours. Well, anyways, I'm gonna continue this episode at another time, because I, I, I gotta do something. Hey, 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 guys. Cooler here. Welcome to episode... I don't remember the name of the episode, but, um... Welcome to that episode of, uh... Star's Little Public. This is the Bounty Hunter storyline, and we are now on our ship. We will now travel to Barmora. the Great Hunt never sends us anywhere nice. The Empire's been fighting for control of Balmara for years. Death tolls in the high seven figures. War or no war, I've got a job to do. I'm really starting to admire this professional attitude of yours. Let's see what Krista has to say about our job here. It's starting the hollow now. Welcome to Balmora, Hunter. Your target is the right impressive Admiral Ivernus. They call him Admiral Untouchable spends all his time on a fancy flagship surrounded by armed soldiers. Armed you know soldiers. You touch, Hunter. You gotta lure Admiral Ivernus off his flying fortress and down to Balmora. To make things even more interesting, no friendly contacts here. You gotta figure this out yourself. And don't forget, the job ain't done till you're the only hunter left standing. Good luck. Mako, get me everything you can find on Admiral Ivernus. Already on it. Logging into the Imperial Network now. He's a war hero, all right. Actually won some battles against the Mandalorians. Wonder if that's how he got on the list. Hmm, this is interesting. Turns out one of the Admiral's toadies is in the market for a battle. Turned off my uh, subtitles when the characters talk so I could uh, take screenshots. That's our in. We got an in. Let's get every piece of information on them you can pull down. The job listing contact is Lieutenant Major Purell. And you get this, pull me discretion down, Mako. is of the utmost importance. Whatever this is, Purell wants it secret. How does this secret job help us? It's all I've got. Better than nothing, right? How about we go have a chat with Lieutenant Major Perel at his office at the Imperial Base in Sobrick. Find out what he wants. <laughs> Sounds good to me, Mako. Should I say? Hey, look, it's it's Fenzel. He's in my ship for some reason. What is he doing here? That's pretty weird. You know what's weird? What's even weirder? Um, I have. Well, do I? I don't think I do. I do not have it. I don't have... So there's this character I don't have for uh, called Treek. I don't have him for uh, this character yet. Anyways, let's, let's uh, exit the ship. Take our little screenshots. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is part 2. I think I'm on episode 19, if I'm not mistaken. So this is part 2 of episode 19. Yo, I, I bought a lot of Legos from this website called Bricklink. Bricklink allows you to buy certain pieces from different stores that, pe that sellers, a whole bunch of different sellers, own. And it's really cool because like you can literally buy like anything you want, any piece, any minifigure piece, any like anything. Well, not anything, but that, it varies in price. Bounty hunter, we want to work with you. You're looking to hire me or what? We've come to collect a debt from you, and we expect payment in full. We Corellians are very particular about our debts. You killed our brother Vex, you pile of scum. You got anything to say for yourself? I don't remember any Vex, but I've killed a lot of people. 
<laughs> you couldn't take him in a stand-up fight, so you shot him in the back. Now you're going to pay the price. The name Taro Blood ring a bell? He told us how you slaughtered Vex and then killed the old man, Brayden, when he discovered your crime. It's a shame we can't kill you twice. Once for Vex, and again for your mentor. Brayden was more than just my mentor. He was my friend. Taro killed him. The only one getting fried here is you, and for nothing. You're gonna die for a lie. Hang on, Vi. What if the bounty hunter's telling the truth? You take the word of this mongrel who killed our brother? No, but I'm not sure I trust Taro Blood either. What if we're being used? Taro sent other people after me too, and they're all dead. Don't believe it, Vor. He's trying to scare us off. What if he wasn't shot in the back? If this bounty hunter killed Vex in a fair fight, what chance do we have? <laughs> yeah, there's a dark side option here that says, let's find out. Attack. Uh, I don't rem I don't remember my uh, my character's um, area. I'm just going to attack. Your whole family's too dumb to live. You're dead! Oh. oh, these guys are putting up a fight. I ironically, their names are Vex, Vor, and Vi. And Vi is a... Um, Healer. I mean, that's no surprise there. I mean, normally they make female characters healers for some reason. I don't know. I'd, I'd teabag your um, your sister, but she's already dead. I should have Mako as my uh, companion, but as long as I increase her uh, influence, is good. And I've been increasing her influence. She's at level 33, and it's all thanks to these uh, trinkets. It's all thanks to either this one. No, actually, it's it's this one. The vial of Gree. of Lieutenant Major Perel. I am ODX-9. How may I be of assistance? Perel sent for me, didn't he tell you? That's odd. I have no record of an appointment in my scheduling databanks. If I may inquire, with whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I'm a bounty hunter. That's all you need to know. A bounty hunter? Oh, how interesting. I don't believe I've ever met one of you. Does that see serious here? apologies, but the Lieutenant Major is currently in a meeting and cannot be disturbed. Thank you for visiting Lieutenant Major Perel's office. Have a pleasant day. Uh, thanks. I will blast. Thanks. You're dead, fella. What was that racket? ODX. ODX, answer me, you worthless piece of junk. Who's out there? I'm here to solve your problems, Bounty Hunter. My problems? What do you know about my problems? Ah, of course. I understand. Now give me a moment to unlock the door. Come in. And we'll discuss things in private. My apologies for the poor welcome. I never informed that idiot droid I was hiring hey, a bounty hunter. That cat chick looks I'm very familiar. I'm assistant to the of the governor of Balmora. Mm, she looks like the... I in the looks like a side gathering. quest mission. Master is wise and powerful. She's hot. This is she sounds hot. Year. I know, she sounds like the side quest Unusual mission for like, the trooper. Friend on Drum and Cass. In the relief camp. What she lacks in intelligence, she makes up for in entertainment value. Let's get down to business, shall we? 
My superior, Colonel Sartius, is an incompetent fool. I toil in his shadow, though his job should rightfully be mine. I kill him. You get a promotion. If only it were that simple. Unfortunately, my superior is popular with the right people. But what's most infuriating is that Colonel Sartius has the full confidence of Admiral Ivanus. Colonel Sartius remains in power because he excels at hiding his gross incompetence from the Admiral. But we're going to tear down that facade. You got something in mind? I've been plotting Sartius's downfall for months. All I need is you to put my plan in motion. I want you to create problems for Colonel Sartius. I want you to problems create I'm confident problems. he can't deal with. Your missions will involve plenty of mayhem and destruction. And the pay is quite generous. Interested? Mayhem and destruction are my specialties. Then it was fate that led you here. Your first target is the Okara droid factory. Oh, that's right, I got three missions on Before this Before the Empire invaded that. Balmora, we sabotaged the facility, turning the droids into crazed killing machines. Colonel Sarshius is very close to deciphering the facility's control codes. If he does, it will bring the droids fully under the Empire's control. The Colonel cannot be allowed such a victory. I sent a data slicer to enter a code scrambling virus into the facility's computer system. Huh. Slicers usually avoid going into danger zones alone. This slicer's bravery was bolstered by a large pile of credits. And a full security team. The security team escorting the slicer was killed by the facility's droids. Oh well for those now, guys. The slicer is trapped inside. The slicer refuses to input the virus until I send a rescue team. I'm sending you. The slicer's name is Zalia. Force her to input the virus into the system. Then eliminate her. No loose ends. Zalia. We'll have more business to discuss when you return. I'm gonna have a light slice option to like not kill her. Okay, let's see. 50 dark points. Uh, oh yeah, my guy is a light side person. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie doo. Now, the sprinting option here makes my character run like really fast. I, I never realized that until like now. Fets, vets, merchants. Destinations. Displaying all authorized destinations. All destinations. Oh wow, the, the forest fill doesn't cover that much of the base. That's unfortunate. For you, dumb. <laughs> yeah, if, if I had uh, activated the. used the heroic missions, I could have teleported to the missions the site really quickly. Because a lot of the missions, class missions, are like right next to the heroics. Oh, yeah, I thought my game was lagging. <laughs> So uh, this Republic cruiser finally got delivered to my house. The first time it got delivered, they uh, mis misbagged it and gave me a, a TIE fighter instead. So of course, like most Amazon shoppers, I returned it. But if I had spoken with the seller, they would have just made me keep what what they gave me by accident and make me uh, and give me the uh, 
other thing. But instead, what they did was they uh, gave me back my money and sent me the item for free. And honestly, I'm not really trying. I mean, I'm trying, like, you know, saving money is always good and all, but right now, I'm not really about that, you know? I literally have four minutes. I gotta record this episode, render the episode, and then upload it on a website. What's this? What? A return to the entrance? That's cool. It's like, Zalia, get the fuck up. What are you doing down here? Nice right. Perel sent me. Yeah. Thank the stars. I don't know how much longer I could have held out. My reconnaissance team was evaluating the factory's computer systems when the droids overpowered us. Yeah, she definitely looks like a slicer. I've been stuck here for days without food, water, or sleep. I know why you're really here, Zelia. You know about my mission? Then you should also know why I can't complete it. I already told Perel. Look at this dude, he's if just walking the in the background. If I the computer's control program, it'll trigger alarms. Those droids will swarm us. A few droids aren't gonna hurt me. No offense, but I'm not worried about you. Do I look blaster proof? You're totally set on this, aren't you? Okay. Here goes nothing. Enjoy the walks in the background. Droid walks past us. Joy walks away from from disaster that's getting striking. Defeat the second wave. Oh shit! They're sending in the supers. He is walking back. I can't believe we're still alive. Oh shit. Hold up, let me let me uh I can't believe we're still alive. Oh baby, that was a that was pretty hot, not gonna lie. That was let me let me just do that one more time. I can't believe we're still alive. Damn. Damn! Don't act so surprised. Oh, my stars. Thank you. You're amazing. I've never seen anything like that. Most girls tell me that. I'm bailing out of here before more droids show up. Running away never felt so good. My contract with Perel stipulates no loose ends. That means you. Oh. Oh, no. Please don't kill me. I swear I'll go straight. I'll never slice another computer. Just let me go. You have to promise to disappear. Absolutely. I'll change my name. D delete all records of my existence. It'll be like I was never born. Let me live. Please, let me live. Mm, not a chance. Killer, buy your freedom. I mean... I have a lot of fucking credits, so I'm gonna do it anyways. I like anyways. things done clean. Make the loose end worth it to me. Pharrell paid me in advance. I stashed the credits. Let me go, and I'll tell you where. Man. The credits are in a lockbox. Here's the location and the code to open the box. They're all yours. Should have never quit my job at the cantina. Wait, what? What is, what is she doing in a cantina? What's... What is going on? Hmm. 
Be torn to I mean to be honest, I don't actually really really need to use that, to be honest. Because I could just, you know, whoop. I could zoom back right back where I was at. With the with the quick travel button, yes. Yes! Alright, time. Alright, so I'm gonna end this episode once I complete the, this this mission in part one of Balmora. Wait, what? Now, this, this droid says ODX-9. Welcome back. I take it everything went well, and the Okara droid factory is running smoothly? And what about Zalia? I trust that Slicer won't be a problem. What Slicer, Lieutenant Major? Ah, yes. What Slicer, indeed. The Admiral will soon see my worth. Master is so wise. Remain silent, my pet, or I shall discipline you again. And you don't want that, do you? Here is your payment for taking care of the slicer, my friend. Excellent work. I get paid for taking care of the slicer, the local and I get paid from the money. Colonel Sashi really is, is responsible for keeping our citizenry safe from the deadly colicoids infesting this planet. Never heard of these colicoids before. Colicoids are vicious, giant, insect-like creatures that devour anything in their path. Their exact origin on I think Bar for the Republic Mara side, unclear. there's like two heroics that's like next to the colicoids. But since the Bar Barmora is not on the same planet as the Republic, Barmora, the since um, Empire's Barmora is not on the same planet as the uh, become a plague Republic, the population. that does not matter. The colicoids have become the almost calicoids. docile in recent months. Docile. Attacks docile? are down all across the planet. That makes Colonel Sargias look like he's got this plague under control. But we know better, don't we? I'm not interested in guessing games, Perel. What's your plan? Simple. If docile colicoids are the problem, then we must strive to make them hostile again. The last time they attacked in force was when a survey team accidentally encountered a colicoid queen. It took five squads to kill her. My gracious master's scout units had the misfortune. I'm not reading this. I'm following you. Dude, I am level 60. I don't care about something like, It'll like as the trivial as this. This planet's level 60 to 20. 16 to 20. Why, why do they keep showing this lady? Leveling the plane Unless so you get a fair it's shot. foreshadowing that she's gonna betray him. I I, I played this storyline on my main account. I just don't remember it because I was trying to get the legendary player status. She looks back. Oh damn! I want that bounty hunter dick. Have a pleasant day. All right. Um. Thanks for watching the episode 19, I believe. We're going to be back with episode 20 next week.